What's wrong with wanting a little excitement? Nothing. Exactly. It's an ambulance. It's got the sirens for a reason. Yeah, yeah but it's not like Philly to be so grumpy. Yeah. Don't think he liked me invading his territory. You reckon? Probably. Didn't expect me to be so onto it. You know, maybe he thought I wouldn't be able to handle myself in the field. He has met you. Guys feel threatened by me all the time. But it's, it's Villy. You know, he's such a sweetheart. And he's secure in his job. Sure. Until he realises a nurse, a woman, can do it just as well as he can. Maeve. It happens, Nick. I'm gonna have a word. OK, sure, but don't go burning bridges, OK? Morning. Just the person. It's a new day. Why don't we start afresh? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Excuse me? The way you spoke to me yesterday, not OK. I'm here to do a job just like you, and if you feel threatened by that, then you threatened? next to the good look in the... What are you talking about? Male pride. Took a bit of a dent. It was the complaining I didn't like, the constant wishing for death and destruction. So I wanted something more than a dog bite. Sue me. I'm in the job to help people, not for the thrills. Yes, so am I, and I am damn good at it. Look, I'm glad you're competent at your competent. job, Competent? But... <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. I am capable of far more than you know. Well, let's cross our fingers for a disaster so you get to shine. Shut up, boss. Come on. Everything OK? I heard raised voices. Uh, team building affirmations to get the blood pumping. All right, guys? Right. Yep. Okay. Hey, um, I saw yesterday's numbers. Uh, only one of your call-outs ended up in ED. They were all pretty minor. Yeah, but it all helps. Keep up the good work, team. Oh, who's this little puppet? This is Amelie, Dr. Warner's granddaughter. I'm just keeping an eye on her. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, you're just so cute. <laughs> hey, I need help with the patient lift. I can't leave Amelie. Why does she come with us? Oh, Nicole, do you mind helping Lovely with the lift? Uh, Mrs. Fredericks is waiting on her dressing change. Can't someone else do it? It won't take a moment, please. Yep, yep, OK. What is Miss Amelie doing here? Long story, if you don't mind. Yep, sure thing. Lead the way. <laughs> oh, Lovely, Nicole. Someone go. What the hell are you playing at? He's the one with the problem. Your attitude is the problem. No, I, I don't give a stuff. The only thing I care about is making this happen. The free ambulance service can help people, and I'm not going to let you two ruin it with your stupid bickering. Hey, I want this to work too. So do I. But I won't stand for sexism. What? You heard me. OK, just work it out. We're the trial crew. If we fail, the trial fails, and we let a hell of a lot of people down. You got it? OK, keep it iced and elevated, OK, Mr Wilson? Now, Logan will help you out. Any further questions, you'll see a GP. I've got you, Mr Wilson. Come on, Dad. You don't like me being here, do you? I think it'd be better utilised elsewhere, especially when Madonna's screaming for nurses. I'm useful here. You heard TK. We helped ease the burden on ED. OK, we're not going to agree on this, and that's fine. But I'm not sexist. <laughs> you were in a bad mood from the start. Clearly, I am the reason. You don't want to be showing up. I get it. OK, wait. I was in a bad mood, but not because of you. Mm-hmm. It's my living situation. What about it? We're in a flat with single 20-somethings. Yeah, I just don't think it's the best thing for Junior. Say no more. He's impressionable and his hormones are going crazy. I just, I want to set a good example. I'm sure you are. Not as good as I should be anyway. That's why I was a grump. Not because I'm a sexist pig. Well, raising a teenage boy is tough. So, if you ever need a chat, let me know. Will do. Unit 3, come in Unit 3. This is Unit 3 control. Call out the Ferndale Forest. Police and fire service en route. Uh, could be that control on our way. Ah, some action. Sounds like you got your wish. It is a juggling act, but an extra pair of hands does help. A nanny, it just doesn't feel right. It's a stranger caring for Armelie. Well, I'm pretty sure TK already has a job. Ah, very funny. Anyway, I'll see you later. I'm going to go visit Damo. Sounds good. Come on. Did I hear Drew mention Damo? You did. Has, has there been any change? Are you expecting any? I'm afraid not. Would you like a flower, sweetheart? Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, if that doesn't make you smile, nothing will. <laughs> Are you two waiting for Viv? Oh, Viv's um, taking some time out from the childcare side of things. Oh, really? Oh, can't imagine why she'd want to. <laughs> if I had a gorgeous little girl like this to look after, I'd never leave her side. Open the gate! Hurry, you have to help Gavin! 
Alexis. Yes. I nursed it short on speed. I'm her wife. Hey, Maeve, we don't have time for this. Excuse me. We couldn't get it off him. OK, if we use all our muscle, we can get this off him. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. OK, we're going to lift this off him. You, you, give us a hand. All right. On my count, OK? One, two, three. Get him off him! Get him off him! Keep going. OK. Take care, 120. Here we are in a three-fire fleet delay to your location due to heavy traffic. No pedal post. Major traffic delays. Fire controls having trouble recharging. He has an ischemic foot. He could lose his leg. Still no pedal post. I think he has compartment syndrome. We need to relieve the pressure. No, we can't. Not here. I can. I know what to do. No. No way. What? A fasciotomy. You've done one? I've seen it done. Which in no way makes you qualified. Billy, I can do it. That's way outside your scope of practice. If we do nothing, he will lose his leg. What? Not true. We can get him back to Shortland Street in time. And what happens if we don't? What happens if you damage his nerves? What are you talking about? Logan, prep him to move. With a severe crush injury like this, something called acute compartment syndrome can occur. It's excessive pressure building up inside a muscle compartment. What does that mean? Gavin could suffer severe tissue damage. He could lose his leg. What? No, it's OK. We're going to get him to hospital in time. You're telling me the truth? This isn't some kind of payback? I just want to make sure your boyfriend keeps his leg. You're not taking him anywhere. What? Everyone stop him! They're trying to cripple Gavin! We're trying to help him. Then do it here. Do what she says. Where are the police? Call. Hurry no, them up. No, it'll be too late. I have one chance here, and it is fading fast. Let me do this. OK, just tell your people to move so we can get Gavin to the hospital. She said he could lose his leg. She's wrong. I'm not taking that risk. Trust me, Vili, I can do this. This could be the end of our careers. The end of the free ambulance service. Is that what you want? You sure you got this, mate? I'm sure. You don't. OK. Yeah, sorry, Gavin. Uh, yeah. Single incision just distilled to the head of the fibula. OK, I got it. You better hope so. All right, Gavin. Here we go. 